Thank you very much. Councillor Zamprogno. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, I'd like to start by asking the mover if they would be prepared to include a second point, and that is that the, any adjustment to Council's capital works program necessitated by the Packer Road ceiling program be referred to a briefing. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We'll add Thank that you. as a so, point. And I'm the seconder, so I, I consent. So I'll speak very strongly in favour of the motion that's before us. <clears throat> in a council area without wards, we 12 councillors represent the whole Hawkesbury. But I've said over many years how the residents of that part of the world, uh, from Colo and from St Albans and from Lower Portland and Sackville and, and Cumberland Reach, must feel very poorly represented. I mean, they've had no local uh, in this chamber since the retirement of, of Lee Williams, and that was over eight years ago now. And they must feel very poorly served by this chamber if council reneges on a promise. I didn't, I didn't support the rate rise that was uh, offered along with the sweetener of a raft of capital works programs. But when the rate rise went through, I have always been a person who feels that council as an organisation has a strong ethical and moral obligation to keep its pledges. And we promised to do this. And I appreciate that costs have gone up. But when you look at the unique geographical um, asset that is Packer Road, this east-west link that links the Putty Road, which is relatively well maintained, and all of those river communities uh, from Lower Portland to Cumberland Reach and Sackville, and the crucial role that it has. No wonder when there was the prospect of this not proceeding is that uh, we were all deluged over the last week by uh, all of the locals. And I want to acknowledge um, Kath and Wesley Smith and Guy Parmenter and the Indomitable Ro Rochelle Miller uh, and, and the Atkinsons and the Cooks and particularly the Wadops. And I acknowledge Kayleen's presence in the gallery this evening and, and I can only say that this must reawaken so much hurt and I hope that we can fix that or provide some kind of solace. The traffic that Sealing Packer Road would take off other roads like West Portland Road and Wilbarrow Ridge Trail, I think would, would lower our maintenance costs of that. So there is an economic argument to this. And, you know, to the argument that, uh, you know, what we do here, we, we then take off the plate somewhere else, rather than, as Councillor Lyons Bucket said, pit one part of the community against the other, I would like the Chamber to be able to be briefed and to have a, a round table discussion about what we do with our capital works budget when we make adjustments of this type. I'm particularly uncomfortable that we are simply told which projects won't proceed at all or will be inevitably delayed because there's a, a scientific formulaic aspect to prioritising our capital works program and then there's the role that we are entitled to have on behalf of our community to express the views of the community and the relative importance um, that perhaps those formulas don't encompass, which is why I've asked for part two to be incorporated into the motion. I hope that everybody uh, in the chamber sees things the same way. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Sheba. Councillor Sheba.